Spring means many migratory birds are looking and flocking back to Minnesota for the summer. But our wet roller coaster spring weather is creating some travel issues here in the Midwest and it's leading to loons falling from the sky oh. and a flood. We've heard that today on the yeah. news. We're like, what? what? Uh, she joins us to explain why this is happening and how some organizations out there are trying to help our state birds. Yeah. yeah, really fascinating. We're all kind of amazed in the newsroom this morning about how much we're learning about loons. Okay, so experts are calling this a loon fallout. So what's happening is loons are flying back north for the summer and the atmospheric conditions high up in the sky are causing ice to develop on their bodies. And when that weight becomes too much, the loons can't fly anymore. It's leading to situations like this. This is a photo from the Raptor Education Group near Wausau, Wisconsin. And down there, just above the banner, you can see it shows a loon that fell from the sky and landed in a cow yard in northern Wisconsin. The group says over the last few days they've received several calls about people finding loons like this. In this case, thankfully, the farmer called this group so that they could come in and help. So loons, they can't walk on land and they can only fly and take off from the water. So if they do come down on land like they did right here, they're basically stuck. So the Raptor Education Group is able to respond when something like this happens. They take the birds, they get them back into good health and, and health, and then they help them find a body of water that they can take off from and then go on and continue their journey. They're warning that people should not take loons themselves and try to take them to small ponds or something like that. First of all, these are big birds. I think you can see in this picture compared to the size of our hand. I mean, these are not ducks. These are big birds. They're also defensive. They have sharp beaks that can hurt you. They also need about a quarter mile of water to take back off again. So taking them to a small pond might not help them get back on track. Mm. So this morning, the team at the Raptor Education Group says they're back out this morning. They're hoping to rescue five more stranded loons that they've heard about just over the last day or so. And they say this is really blown up on social media and it's really helping because it's getting the word out. So people are looking for this and then know if they see a loon on the ground, okay, this is not normal. Yeah. Right. This loon can't get back into the sky and get where they need to go. So they're calling this group to step in and help. This is some story. Uh, I know. And an eye opener. I had for a no lot of us. Yeah, and yeah. none of us. I never yeah. knew that they couldn't walk. Couldn't and walk this is an issue that I've never heard before. It's a yeah. good thing we're adding some, you know, light to yeah, it. Right. It's the best thing. If you do see a loon out there on the ground, call, uh, you know, locally here we have the Raptor Center. Right. Up in northern Wisconsin, they have this Raptor right. Education Group uh, so that we can make sure that they can get on their way and get where yeah. they need to be. My goodness. All right. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.